Hello, it's Divine Honesty, and I'm back with another reading. Today, I'm going to be reading for Sagittarius. I'm going to be reading for Sagittarius, and today we're going to be talking about your ex. Okay. Our readings are time fluid. Also, <clears throat> if you're wanting to donate or schedule a one-on-one -on -one reading, all the information will be down down below. And this is for Sagittarius X. I will also have two other videos at the end of this video um, to get a different perspective of your ex or more information about your ex, okay? So tell me about Sagittarius X. Tell me about Sagittarius X. Um, for some of you, it could be a Scorpio, but it did end. You have a tower. It kind of represents truth it represents a shocking truth a shocking change in life a shocking direction okay so this card is you know transformative in nature uh, associated with the death card that's why i also associate scorpio to this card so um let's see so something happening i mean it just left you vulnerable or it could be your partner. You see, the energies can be reversed. But um, I'm feeling vulnerability. I'm feeling a change of everything. Heartache, pain. Okay. Some of you, I'm seeing it's just enough enough evidence for you to move the fuck on. You know, it's like, oh, now I know. Now I know. I feel that energy. Uh, then we have the Empress. So some of you could have children with this person or has something to do with their baby mother, baby father. Um, I'm seeing some could have went back to an ex, so went back to a baby mother or, um, a baby father. Well, I don't like to say baby mother or baby father, but a child's father or a child's mother. Um, let's see. Some of you guys were pregnant or are pregnant. I have a judgment. So there's some type of decision that had to be made. Um, someone's told you something where it was shocking, okay, and it involves your children. Okay, let's go ahead and verify these cards. Now, another thing I'm seeing is it had to do with someone's mother or maternal figure, to speak. Okay, let's see the tower. We have the magician. We have the magician. The magician I'm seeing to represent this is that some shit, some people made a situation, okay? So, or you feel like somebody lied or manipulated manipulated the situation that caused the breakup. That's what I'm seeing as well, okay? Some of you just wanted to break up with this motherfucker. They wasn't keeping you happy. Some of them could have been just restraining you or... Um, just preventing certain things from happening in your life and you wanted to create something you had to make a decision like I need my life I need my space okay also you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Virgo let's see um, I'm also seeing another Sagittarius and what is the Empress here why is the Empress Tempers? Told you. Another Sagittarius. Okay, so it's like you was waiting on the right time to have a family or for some of you to have a baby. I'm seeing divine timing came and took over the situation because you were spending too much time stuck in a meltdown or stuck in portrayal or stuck in feeling vulnerable or stuck in a place where... Um, you felt like everything was just going to fall. Everything was going to come apart. Like you kind of knew before the breakup. That's what I'm feeling. And divine energy stepped in and was like, you know, enough is enough. And I'm seeing some of them have problems with your work life or your social and work life or your family and work life. They felt like it wasn't a balance or that you was manipulating them when it comes to their energy or time. Okay, I think we have death. So, definitely Scorpio energy. 
Yeah, I'm sorry that you made a decision. I'm seeing that most of you broke up with this ex. Most of you ended the relationship. You made a decision to be like, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> um, it's not going nowhere. And that decision transformed you. I'm seeing for the most part, most of you guys are happy that this relationship is over. I mean, some of you guys do think about it, especially if they're the father or the mother of your child. But for the most part, you made a decision based on how you was feeling, how everything just fell, okay? And you wanted to create a new life for yourself. I think it's beautiful, and I think it's, you know, brave, because a lot of people can't get out of certain relationships. But us Sagittarius, honey, when we feel it, we feel it. Let's get an Arca card, okay? An Arca card for us. Spirit, give us advice on this ex. What's the advice we have on this ex? Break the chain. Wow. Break the chain. So I'm seeing for this, break the chain represents ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. You're being called to heal your family line of free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of maternal or paternal line. Mm, and that empress was in there for a reason. Healing trauma from the past this is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you we carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back this shit is deep up to seven generations back this is why family patterns can be the hardest to break often they are not even ours to begin with but we do not know another way of being and so we continue playing out the drama the thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up, this is I'm sorry. Um, come up. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Energy is freed up. You're being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of being or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. What old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go? Seek assistance from your support team, your tribe, friends, healer, coach, to begin freeing yourself from it now. And that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. If you connect to this video or if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Please subscribe because I will have new readings each week for you. And we can continue on going to the path of clarity and healing.